Well, hello everybody, it's Mindy, and I have a couple things here. Now, they came in two separate boxes, but they're from the same place, which is interesting. So, let's get them out of the boxes, and you can see they look exactly the same, right? Same company. So, I was contacted by a very nice lady named Sandra, and she let me know that they were starting up a diamond painting company. Um, they're like designers, artists, and they wanted to make diamond paintings out of their own work. And um, they're on Amazon, and they just started on Monday. Monday, yes. So I got these a couple days after that. Um, Amazon sent them to me quickly, and I'm gonna show them to you. The name of the company is Karu. I think that's how you say it. I'll link it below. Karu Diamond Painting, and they are $15.99 each. So she let me get both and they only have two designs right now. They wanted to just start with two, give it a go, and see how it went, and then, um, then they'll see if they can expand and add more designs. Okay, this is interesting. Woo, this is kind of cool. Okay, here is their toolkit. Let's look at what they send you for a toolkit. They're diamond painters and designers, and I think sometimes those make the best, uh, they make the best creations. <laughs> So we have some of the metal tweezers. We have a MOSFA boat, a big plate of wax, a pen, baggies. Okay, that is the toolkit. Okay, so here's one of the first things I noticed, and there's a tiny cover to my um, tweezers. Yeah, I found the cover to the tweezers. See, there we go. Okay, here's the first thing I noticed. A, it comes on a foam roller, okay? B, it is the soft back like the felty kind, you know what I mean? Like Tin Me Arts and, you know, other places that are doing this, you know, softer back. Yeah, look at the edges, all nicely surged. They look great. All right, let's take it off here. Okay, I'm not certain which one I, oh, wow, this legend. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna roll this backwards because it wants to curl up. So we're gonna roll it backwards and convince it to lay flat. Wow, this is nice. First impression is really nice, okay? Really nice. Okay, here's our foam roller. We don't need that. And we have, oh, look at, we have a little information here. Inspiration exists, but it must find you working. <laughs> it's from Pablo Picasso. Um, it's a sticker, actually. I think it's a sticker. Yeah, it is. That back comes off. Anyhow, okay, there's that. This looks to be directions. Okay, here's the name of the company. So here's here's what it is. Karu. And there's an inventory. Okay, pretty basic inventory, but look at nice symbols. There you go. You could copy that if you wanted to. Put it on your containers, whatever you'd like. And here are our drills. Okay, and they are, it's a square drill. Okay, square drill kit. And it says diamond painting on the strip. I don't think I've ever seen drills with that packaging before. Something new. I don't know. Okay. So look at the size of that legend, you guys. It is huge. You cannot miss that. If you are diamond painting, there is no way you can miss that. This is called Purple Beach. So it's a sunset on a beach. There's some shells in the foreground. See it? Shells in the foreground, purple beach. Wow, and it is purple, it is purple. Okay, so I do notice that there are some symbols with white lettering and some with dark. Let's zoom in real close while we're here. And we need to focus, camera, let's focus. Okay, clear. Wow, yeah, it is clear. You can read those symbols. I have no trouble seeing those. Even in this dark area where it's a mix of A and E, very, very clear. Some very normal symbols, things we're used to, right? Some letters, asterisks. Okay, and we have some that have dark symbols. So I like that. Okay, you wanna see it, don't you? All right, let's see it, let's lay it out. There is a legend on both sides it says, change the world one rhinestone at a time at the top. Wow, look at that. That's quite beautiful, right? 
quite pretty. It'll be interesting to see how the shells turn out. I'm not certain. It'll be interesting to see how they turn out, but we have a legend on both sides and they are big and easy to read. Wow, <laughs> that looks nice to me right now because the legend I'm looking at right now, whew. Anyhow, very nice, wow, wow, wow. I like, I like what they got going on so far, you know? It says it's a 40 by 30. Do I have my tape measure? No, my tape measure is nowhere to be found. Anyhow, I cleaned up for Thanksgiving. Everything got moved. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this little clip in here. I went back and looked at their listing and their listing said that they are 30 by 40. Their measurement of the drill area is 30 by 40. And so I thought, well, let's do this right. Let's measure it so we can give them their full credit. Um, so let's see. Um, look, it is 40. It's actually a little bit over 40. <laughs> no, it's just a couple ticks short of 40. Okay, but I mean, it's close enough. We can call it 40. And then 30 is spot on. So the drill field is 30 by 40, and that's what they advertise on their website. They also advertise that they have 30% more diamonds. So <laughs> yeah, let's go ladies. I'm assuming it's ladies, but <laughs> um, yeah, very nice. Okay, let's get back to the rest of the video and finish it up. I've seen drills package like this. If I can find the opening, we'll get into them. There's a package all by itself. So yeah, it says just like diamond painting on the back. And then, you know, that probably says diamond painting in Chinese for all I know. Has the number on the front, the DMC number. Uh, you know, DMCs were on the canvas as well. The one thing it doesn't have, and I can suggest this to them, that some people do like, is they just like these numbered as well. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So maybe a number on the side because some people like to just work with the numbers. I know that. I don't really care, but I know that some people would like that. Okay, just a suggestion. But look at the colors. They're beautiful colors. Wow, right? Wow, look at that one. Beautiful baby pink. Like, we're going to have every pink we can get here probably, right? <laughs> Another one. Another pretty baby pink. 605 and 603. I think they're going in order. And here comes the 210s, 209s, and 208s. Yeah, they're, not, they're, they're in order. Uh-huh. They're in numerical order. And then they kept going. Oh, they are. So that is cool. All right. But wow, that's pretty. Like I said, I'll be interested to see how these shells turn out down here because they're just dark right now. But it'll be interesting to see how those turn out. They're pretty large, big focal point on the picture, but it's very pretty. I mean, I think they're on the right track. What do you think? I think they've done a good job so far. Uh, it'll be interesting to see um, what other kinds of artwork they have. This one, this is something I would never think of buying myself, but I actually like it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I actually like this. Same toolkit. And again, on the foam roller. Totally different color palette, right? This is blues. Okay, I like this one. Let's roll it backwards, like I said. And the soft canvas, the, vel the uh, feltish type back, I like, you guys. I like. So apparently this one is a square also, so they must be just focusing on square drills right now. Here comes our paper and our foam roller. Okay. Well, I think that what you can tell right off the get-go is they've put some thought and effort into what they want to do here, right? How many colors does this one have? I don't know. Let's see. Well, it's easier to count on the canvas. We know that legend is really large on the canvas, so let's look at that. Okay, and this one is a vertical. Look at it. Isn't that cool? I mean... 
Like I said, it's not anything I would ever pick out, a feather, but it is pretty cool. I've seen pictures of it completed and it's really cool. They're on uh, Instagram as well. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one has 28 colors, okay? So it has more colors than the, the purpley pink beach does. But again, this legend is just so easy to read, right? I love that, it's so easy to read. Wow, very typical symbols. I mean, I have seen these symbols a million times from different companies, nothing unusual. I mean, wow. Um, again, we have some white lettering. We have some black lettering. It's super clear, easy to read. You won't have any trouble. I mean, I don't even think I would need a light pad to do this right now if I wanted to do it on this counter right here. Nice. I like it. I have seen this one. It turns out, it turns out pretty good. I like it. <laughs> I so wish I had my tape measure, but I don't. It's way put away somewhere. Yeah, the only thing, the only thing I can think to suggest right now is just numbering these for people who like to work with numbers. I will just suggest that to them. That's an easy, easy fix. But whoever they have making these for them, I think they're doing a really nice job. Upside down. This is all blues and purples, right? We got a little bit of 939, 823s. That 820 is really pretty. You can't tell if it's a purple or a blue. It's a mix between the two. All right, here's another strip, 3846. Okay, let's do this. I can't open these, but let's look really close at this color and let's look at the drills. Um, I mean, they look good. I don't see trash. I don't see knobbly bits. I don't see pieces sticking off. I think they look really nice. We got a couple pieces of trash up there, but you know, that happens in every, every kit. But they look nice and square. I don't see concave ones. I mean, they're looking good, right? They're looking really good and beautiful colors. They're just beautiful colors. All right. 99, 98, 97, 96. <laughs> Let's just go down the, there's our mint greeny color. This has got so many beautiful purples. And then here comes my favorite. Now they look a little staticky there. Stick into the bag a little. And I even have 155 at the end. But nice job. Nice job, you guys. I mean, yeah, I hope they do well because I would like to see what else they have. What other types of artwork do they have that they would, you know, like to, you know, make diamond paintings out of? Turn into diamond paintings. I think they're doing a really nice job. What do you think? So we have the very purpley pink one and a blue purple. Pink, purple, blue, purple. <laughs> Very nice. I like them. Good job, you guys. Nice, nice job. All right. I will link them below so you can check them out. I mean, they're, they're a good price. You know, $15.99 for a nice quality painting. I mean, right. Seriously, you know. Um, and they're squares. For those people who love squares, lots of times on Amazon, we get these smaller kits around, round, 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 but these are both square, you guys. All right, I'm gonna go now. And thank you for watching and check them out. And um, yeah, hopefully they are up and coming and keep going and doing more and see what else they have. All right, have a great day. I will talk to you guys later. Hit the like button and subscribe, um, you know, Come back and see more videos. Yeah. I'm here every day. <laughs> Not the same time, but same place every day. All right. 
Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.